and welcome back to the Friday Night Frights. I'm Rip Rotney, your host, and tonight my friends our tale involves a wealthy businessman who's out on a desperate journey to find the Fountain of Youth through a witch doctor in the creepy tale entitled Curse of the Moon God. A fun still horror tale I'm sure you enjoy. And tonight to celebrate its premiere, we have Wilbur Wolf here in the studios. Please welcome everyone, Wilbur Wolf. Hello, Wilbur. Welcome to the Frights. Hi, Rick. It's so great to be here. You know, I can't wait for this show. It stars my cousin, the werewolf. Oh, yes. Uh, your cousin is in this video tonight. Uh, he dons his fangs and causes havoc everywhere in the studio. Uh, and, uh, whoa, what a howler he was. Well, I can howl too, Rip. It runs in the family. Oh, well, uh, I'm sure you were a howl in your day there, Wilbur. Maybe a century or two ago, but not right now. No, 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 Rip. I, I still got it. What? Oh! <coughs> I think you should give it up there, Wilbur. I, I got it, I got it. Just watch. <coughs> what a performance, Wilbur. Sadly, it was your last one. Oh, well. Enjoy your tale, everyone, tonight, folks. Southwest. Mondo. Are you the man which I seek? Perhaps. What is it that you seek? Sir, I have traveled many miles to find you. To see if what they say about you is true. What is it that you speak of? You see, I know that you know for one of the only people who know the secrets of life, that you call upon the great power of the moon god Arcus to transform an elderly citizen into a young man again. That was a long time ago. I don't mess with the gods. They don't like to have their power tapped into by mortals. I'm sorry, sir, but I, I cannot help you. Please, sir, I beg you. I'm old and dying, but I have a lot of money. And I can pay you handsomely if you help me with my one wish to become young again. You see, I've spent a lifetime building my fortune, only to not be able to enjoy it in my old times. You see, I really wish to be young again. Can you help me do it? Sir, I do not think you understand the risk involved with what you're asking. When you make a pact with the moon gods, you have to play by their rules. And once the transformation is complete, there is no turning back. I know your risks. Please. I really want to do this. 
Yes, well, it is your choice. Yes, yes, it is my choice. Please, when can we get started? Tonight, at the stroke of midnight, the moon will be in full bloom, and the power of the moon god Arceus will be at its fullest. It is then that we shall do the ritual. I shall go prepare. You wait here. Make yourself comfortable. Great Arcus, God of the Moon, hear my plea. Grace us with your presence. Follow your path so that they may cross ours, and bless us with your touch of life. On this night, Great Arcus, we promise to commit to your sacred oath. As we have in the past, please, show us your power. We beg of you, show us your power! Show us your power! Mondo, it worked. I'm young again. We young man. We're gonna make you such a rich man. Well, remember, the moon god Arcus will have his payment from you soon. Yeah, sure, payment. I got it. Now, what do I gotta do? A few spells? To cut a few chickens' heads off? The god has already given you his gift of life. It will only be a matter of time before you discover the price you'll have to pay for it. Well, I'll do whatever he wants to do. I'm young again. I'm young and rich. I'm going to be around a long time to spend it. Mondo, I hope this does. Thank you so much. Hope you don't mind American. Just remember one more thing before you go. Yeah, Mondo, what is it? Beware of the full moon. The moon in full bloom. You have to avoid it at all costs. Moon? Mm -hmm. I love the moon. I, I love the night. Thanks again, though, Mondo. Good evening, sir. May I help you? Help you? Charles, it's me. Bruce, your boss. What? My word, I believe it is you, sir. But how ever did you manage to obtain your youth? Now, Charles, that is a secret I just can't tell you. But you know, I'm going to make today a special day. No, every day is going to be a special day. You know why? Because I'm going to make it happen. I'm not going to be some sniveling old miser hoarding his gold. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it with the world. New day is dawning for me. I'm very happy for you, sir. That's that quite a remarkable feat. 
Would you like glasses of your favorite brandy to celebrate? Oh yes, Charles, that's an excellent suggestion. And while you're at it, grab one for yourself. Thank you, sir. <sighs> I'm young again. They're going to be so surprised at that conference tomorrow. Oh man, I can't wait. Beware of the full moon. The moon is full bloom. You have to avoid it at all costs.
good, sir. What happened to you? Were you in some sort of accident? No. No accident, Charles. Are you in need of any medical assistance, sir? Perhaps would you like to be notified the authorities? No, the authorities aren't going to help me at all. I think I'm just going to take a nice, nice shower. No calls. Definitely no visitors. Yes, sir. What is it? I'm sorry to bother you, sir, but there's a policeman here and he'd like to have a word with you. I've already told him you didn't want to be disturbed. No, no, no. Charles, it's okay. Show the policeman in. Very good, sir. No. Good evening, officer. What can I do for the local authorities this evening? Good evening, Mr. Bruce. I was just making my rounds via the neighborhood and, uh, I wasn't sure if you were aware of the fact that there were several murders in the area last night. No, I... I haven't even turned on the TV all day. Well, apparently there were several girls brutally murdered in the most horrific of fashion. They almost like they were straight out of a horror film. Well, apparently the master suspect is some wild circus animal, but I'm not so sure. Did you hear or see anything in the area last night? No, sir. I'm, I'm afraid I didn't see or hear anything. And I'm, I must apologize, but uh, I'm exhausted, and I have to retire now. All right. Well, be sure to lock all your windows and doors for security purposes. And if you need me, if you hear or see anything, I'll be down at the office. You have yourself a good evening, mister. You too, officer. Have a good evening. What? Wild animals. Well, remember, the moon god Arcus will have his payment from you soon. Okay, you sinful bastard. You placed this curse upon me, and now you're gonna take it back, understand? Or I'm gonna blow your head off. I told you, once you have chosen the path of the moon god, you have to accept whatever price they have placed for you. There is no going back. Bullshit, Mondo. I know you're some sort of great wizard. I've heard you can raise the dead. But if you don't help me, I swear to God I'm gonna kill you. I don't know what you expect me to do. Expect you to do? Take back this curse! Reverse it! Have the gods perform some sort of ritual and reverse it! I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. It's that simple. Hold out your hand. God of the moon, hear my plea. We are so grateful for the wonderful gift of life which you have bestowed upon us, but we ask of you just this once to retrieve it. Retrieve this gift so that we may continue to worship you in these nights of despair. Please, O oh great Arcus, hear my prayer. Hear my prayer, we beg of you, great Arcus. 
we beg you, hear our prayer. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. No! No! 